Peter Haddock and welcome to another site visit, this time in the rain with Michael Petrovich, who's the technical manager at Chase Town Civil Engineering. Michael, great to see you today, unfortunately in the rain, but look what's behind us. It's a brand new JCV and inside that JCV, folks, is a brand new MC1 system from Leica Geo Systems, fitted by your partners at Bowles. So Michael, what's it all about? You've invested loads of equipment, loads of technology. What's happening and where are we coming from? Well, we've been working with Bowles now for the last two years. We started off with some higher machine control units and we really liked what we saw. We liked the way it worked, how much production we were getting out of them and also the accuracy. So now we've just invested in um, 12 new units from them. So that's 12 new units and you've just invested in a load of new JCBs. Um, tell me about that JCB relationship. Yeah, well, we've just invested in 20 new excavators that are all machine control ready. They've got base kits fitted to them that were done at the JCB factory. So that means that you've got those 12 systems, they can move from excavator to excavator. Correct. Um, depending whether you need machine control or not. Correct, it gives us that flexibility to move the systems around from machine to machine when, when needed. And also, what you were telling me earlier is you're not only machine controlled up, you're surveying equipment up as well, haven't you? You've got a whole suite of Leica surveying equipment. We have indeed, yeah. We use Leica all the way through the company for all our surveying needs, all our setting out needs and any surveying that we need to do. So basically, you've got a team of engineers that you manage. Correct. Um, and basically they go around doing all the surveys uh, and and how long have you been doing that kind of work for with Leica stuff? We've been doing that for over 10 years with Leica stuff we have. It's the main instrument that we, we use. We tend to use Leica across the company. So what you've got is a scenario where you've been surveying with Leica then moved to machine control. Yeah. And so what was the, the big reason why this big investment with JCB and taking that to the factory to get retrofitted. How did Bowles help you do that? You've got a relationship with them, haven't you? Got a very good relationship with Bowles. They've um, treated us very well in the um, last two years that we've been working with them. And we just felt comfortable with Bowles, so we decided to take the plunge with them and invest in the new equipment. So we've got Bowles coming in here, helping the guys in the team. But tell me, how has this actually changed the way in which you work as a business? and your role as a technical manager. It's changed it massively now. It helps the engineers because a lot of the um, models, they're uploaded into the machine and it saves on engineering duties. It frees the engineer up more time to get on with the information. So tell me, how does the flow work? Because I believe you're using specific software that helps you take the surveying into the model and then into the machine and then back again. So tell me, how does it work now? Yeah, we use um, Icon, Leica software to create the models. We then upload this um, remotely on cloud via the Leica Connect system. This allows us to look after a fleet of machines remotely from the laptop rather than having to visit site. So you'll literally be able to look at all of those machines and you can hire in units if you need them. Correct. You must have cut down in the way you're working and the, and, and the miles and, and, and how you work then. Prior to getting the Connect system, it was getting a little bit unmanageable because we were having to travel all over the country. We were having to offer support over the phone. We couldn't see what was going on in the, in the lads' cab. With this new Leica Connect system, we can see everything that's going on remotely and take control and then rectify any issues that the drivers have. And you were telling me earlier that actually uh, you're changing the way you're working with clients as well, with, with the as-built model and sharing more information with them, aren't you? The machine control now is capable of recording as-built data, which we can then forward onto the clients if requested. And so what that's doing, folks, is that's really getting a clear vision of how a project's going on. And you are telling me again, when we've got different conditions, you can actually see and vary the amount of equipment on site um, to, to whether you're ahead or whether you're behind schedule due to conditions like this? Correct, yeah, that is. So how are you going to be winning work moving forward with this process then? What can you prove to clients and what's the sort of percentage uh, quicker that you can do the job and I guess it, it's quicker, it's less carbon, etc. Yeah, we'd like to think we can um, increase production by 20% and also get a better level of accuracy within our work as well. So that means you're on and off site 20% faster. And Hopefully, also, yes. Yeah. <laughs> obviously with the weather conditions, but and obviously that's going to have an impact to you as a commercially as a business. What do you think is, it's going to allow you to do? And, and is it going to maintain that ability to bid for work? Because you were saying to me earlier that actually some of the clients are, are demanding this. Absolutely, yeah. The clients, 
A lot of them now are requesting machine control. They want the new systems on their job for the reasons I stated to you before, yeah. That's great. So we have a full setup here. We're going to actually talk to the operator as well, folks. We have a setup here that's actually setting you up for 2021 uh, on sites like this and around the country. And so, folks, what we're doing is we're reducing carbon, we're increasing productivity. You know, now you don't have to get into your car. You're far more productive as an individual as well. And, Indeed. And with that, you know, the carbon impact is, is significant, folks. So it's not just about all the technology. It's about the environmental impact and it's about the job site, isn't it? And being accurate whilst being safer, because obviously your operators now have got, got people like yourself milling around the machine. A lot of the operators have said it's a lot safer because they don't have people around the machine. The old way we used to do it with profiles and travellers, that's all gone now. It's all controlled through his um, MC1 system. Fantastic. Well, it's great. It's great. It's well. We're going to have to go back inside now, folks. But thanks very much, Michael. Great, no a problems. great project. A great to see you as a business investing uh, in new equipment, both the excavators and the, the, the machine control as well. Thanks yeah, very much. No problem.